All right, y'all. Um, I'm back, obviously, and uh, I have the same animation up that I had in the last tutorial. This is uh, video three of my pencil tutorials, and as you can see, this is going out of control. And the reason why is because I have the frames per second put all the way up. Um, let's take it up as far as it'll go. It's up to 50 right now. Okay. Uh, the normal, I guess, uh, 30. Okay. Um, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but I believe The Hobbit uh, was filmed in uh, 60 frames per second. Uh, I have a camera that films in 29.9 frames per second. Uh, you know, uh, frames per second are basically, as you can tell, uh, it's doing 50 frames in one second. So, uh, one Mississippi. That was that was 50 frames, uh, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 frames. So it played a, a total of maybe 4.4 times, and uh, my math, I don't do math on the top of my head that good, so uh, that probably wasn't the uh, exact answer uh, to the problem. Uh, but yeah, so as you can tell, and so if we, if we drop it down to 3 frames per second, oh well, 3 frames per second. See what happened there? Now it's going really slow and it's making it look really choppy. And if you watched my first uh, pencil tutorial, the video that I showed you, my example animation that I was doing, um, it was choppy because even though I had the frames per second correct uh, before I exported it, whenever I compiled it in OpenShop, uh, it, uh, I, I chose the wrong frames per second inside OpenShot and OpenShot is another one. If I can get it on Windows, I'll do a tutorial over that. If not, I might end up download. I might end up installing a partition of uh, Ubuntu on this laptop so that uh, I can do more Linux based because Linux is a free uh, uh, operating system. And if I'm doing free software, I don't know why I wouldn't do uh, you know Linux based uh, tutorials. Uh, so we'll see about that. I believe I can get it on, uh, on Windows, and I believe it works a little bit better. Uh, it's got some issues in Ubuntu, but enough about that. Um, yeah, I did. I did uh, the, the video I showed you in uh, my first tutorial uh, was choppy because of the frames per second. Uh, so you want to find uh, what works best for the amount of frames that you've done, um, and that's still a little choppy. I probably go up a little higher, uh, and it was on 12 when we first did it, and that's good. You see how it's moving really smooth. Uh, except for that ending part where it jumps, uh, but yeah, and that's what I was going for. And it is it is fast, but if I added on, I mean, I could have done a whole number of things, added more colors. It would have been a uh, abstract animation of some type. Uh, so yeah, uh, what we're gonna do now though is uh, we're just going to stop this for one thing. Uh, file, and I'm gonna go to new, and I don't want to save changes. Okay. Um, I'm going to use, and again, I am using a touchpad. I'm not using uh, my graphic tablet, uh, which <laughs> is across the room from me, and so I could, but I'm not. Uh, yeah, maybe later. Maybe if we get into some more stuff. But uh, this is such a simple program. I've covered most of it. Uh, I'm just going to do. I'm going to. I'm going to show you compiling right now. So, okay. Oh, um. I have the alpha, preserve alpha on, which again, uh, and again, I might be wrong about this, but from what I remember, uh, alpha is like uh, your opacity, so yeah, um, not using that. I'm going to turn the size up on my pencil, and let's see, what can we do real quick? There we go, oh, there we go, and it blue for some reason. Oh well. So this is going to be the worst looking gun ever. Ah, see, touchpad went out of control. No time to go back and fix it though. Uh, you can fix yours if you would like. Okay. Boom. Alright. Now something that you can do is you can hit, you can select an object, Control C, and if 
you know anything about computers, you know control C is copy, control V is paste, control X is cut, uh, but we're not going to use that in this program. Uh, so I'm going to add another keyframe, and uh, let's turn our onion skin on, uh, and I'm going to hit control paste, and as you can see, what it did was it copied whatever I had in my first frame uh, that I had selected, and moved it over to the second frame, which is good because this is what we want. Um, now we can uh, okay, and I don't I don't seem to have a rotate tool because uh, I was going to kind of do like a, a, a the gun tilting back as it fires effect, but instead uh, let's just get a bullet out of the chamber so that uh, we can uh, get on with our lives uh, and go to the exporting real quick. Um, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! We got to get to our pencil. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go light gray. Bullets aren't light gray, but who cares? Well, and that is not light gray. If that's light gray. I don't know what dark gray is. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, I, I really didn't want to spend too much time on this. So, that's our frame two. Add a little red here because. Uh, that is not red. What is going on? Color red. And if you saw that, I clicked on that and it closed my colors window. Click on it again. There's the colors window. Uh, but yeah, it's not. That's not red. Maybe it's because I'm using a pencil. Uh, and pencil stay gray or something. I don't know. Red. Okay. So all right. Well, that's that's all right. Uh, that that's a little better. Um. Okay, so for sake of time, I'm just gonna copy and paste. Copy, add new keyframe, paste, and then we'll do that with the bullet. Oh, what the heck was that? Okay, touchpad, guys. Um, if you have the option, use a mouse. I'm gonna lower that. Down. I only want the bullet. Oh man. Okay, I'm wasting a lot of time uh, doing this. So, um, yeah. And what I did, I just Control Z took that out. Mm, but actually. I'm gonna leave it on there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, oh that is a big eraser. Uh, I'm gonna erase. That's a small eraser. So I went from 200 to 1.8 that quickly. That is some range right there. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, so I got that bullet taken out. Man, it did a reappear, but that's the onion skin at work, uh, and uh, that that is a cool little thing. I could have sworn this pencil was right in blue a minute ago. I don't know what that's about. Oh, now it's going red, huh? So if I go back to red, is it going to do blue? No, it's not. <laughs> uh, that is one of these uh, these quirky little things with this program that a little irritating. Like, watch, it's not even going to do the same color gray. See, it stayed on red. Yes, the color name is gray. By the way, <laughs> okay. Well, we've got three frames. That's good enough for me because this this program. And when this kind of stuff happens, you can just save your work, close it, and restart it, and it'll fix the problem. Uh, it it is just, and it might be because I'm on Windows 7, and this was meant for Vista and Windows XP, uh, and that might be part of the problem. But I had little things like this happen in Ubuntu. Uh, it doesn't make it a horrible program. Uh, it is kind of inconvenient, but again. You can just uh, save and then restart the program, open back up your file, and everything that was wrong should be fixed uh, for the time being. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to export this. Uh, so we export it as an image sequence, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. No, well, yeah, I'm going to save it to my desktop, but uh, you want to make sure to put it in a folder because it's go it is going to export however many frames. I have three frames at uh, 12 frames per second. Uh, but I don't think the frames per second matters because it should only export three frames uh, because this isn't a, a, a time-based uh, animation program. This is a keyframe-based animation program. So uh, sample animation. 
uh, okay, so I'm going to open that folder and file name, and I'm, I'm going to show you this too, uh, sample. Resolution. Um, whenever I uh, whenever I showed you guys the camera layer, that that is what th that's what this is. This is that's the re resolution. Um, and if I was exporting the camera layer uh, at 800 uh, by 400, it would be at 800 by 400. So we wouldn't have to mess with that. We don't have to mess with that now. That's just uh, you know that, that we're gonna leave it at default. But you can't play with that. Uh, I would I would just keep it whatever you keep your camera angle and to avoid any issues. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can always change the resolution through the camera angle, and then whenever you do that, it should be the exact same right here, uh, no problems. All right, so and then we have format. Uh, keep in mind when it comes to uh, 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 I'm sorry, uh, image formats, PNG is a high quality image, but it also is a high uh, memory Im uh, image. It, it takes a it, it, it takes up a lot more memory. Uh, it takes longer for a web browser to load a PNG file, uh, whereas JPEGs are your lower uh, quality image, which uh, uh, makes it a, a lower memory image. So it just depends uh, as far as like uh, what kind of image compiling software you use, uh, what kind you would, uh, because after it turns into the video, this no longer matters. Uh, but also, it, again, it does take up space. So if you've been working for three weeks on a 3000 frame, animation. Uh, first, I want to see that animation, because I can only imagine that it would be pretty freaking sweet. But on the, uh, also, uh, that means you're going to have 3,000 PNG images on your computer. And you, you know, that's just something you want to make sure your computer can handle. Uh, so we're going to click OK. Alright. And now uh, we don't need this uh, the pencil anymore. Uh, that doesn't mean you have to close out of it. But I am because uh, the, after I show you the next part of this, uh, this tutorial is going to be over. This animation has been modified. Do you want to save your changes? Uh, no, I don't because I don't need that anymore. So let me find my. Where is my sample folder that I made? So I might have. I gotta go to my documents now. I think I might have saved it under. Yeah, I saved it under my user folder. No, I didn't either. Oh boy. I'm gonna play Dora Explorer here. Um, do you guys know where I saved my folder? I was just playing. Uh, I did. I did save it somewhere. Oh, there it is, right under my nose. Okay, as you can see, uh, whenever we exported it, we had three frames: one with the gun, one with the bullet coming out of the gun, and this one where I gave up because of the uh, little uh, glitch in the program at the, uh, that wasn't allowing me to, uh, you know, finish. Uh, which again, uh, if that happens, something like that happens, just save your work, close out of it, come back to it, and uh, it'll be fixed. Um, yeah, when, um, let's see, what, what time am I at here? Okay, so again, we are over 10 minutes. Uh, so uh, I've showed you guys a little bit about exporting. Uh, the next video, I'll, I'll talk to you guys about the saving, saving the files, and uh, we'll see if we can't find something that will compile this for us. Um, yeah. Okay. So I will see you guys next uh, tutorial, and yeah, we'll we'll cover what I just talked about.